Well, what do we have here? Brand new Rolex models for 2021. I'm gonna get right into it and I'm gonna call out my two favorite watches here. Uh, the winners for me, my personal opinion. First one is the 36 millimeter Explorer. Like I can't even believe they came back to the 36 mil. Uh, what a move going back to the tradition, the old school 36 millimeter Explorer. I was really kind of disappointed when the 39 millimeter came out because I thought that'd just be the end of the 36. And the 36 mil, um, it was just so expensive now. And, and look what we have here, a brand new 36 millimeter. Millimeter Explorer, I think this is, um, it's true home uh, when it comes to size. The proportions were a little bit off on the 39 mil. Kind of look like a little dinner plate on your wrist. Um, and just one millimeter shy of a Submariner and the GMT. Uh, there was just, they were just too close to each other. So I'm really happy about the Explorer. The gold, the bi, the bi, the the two tone Explorer. That's just a little bit weird. But um, yeah, that one's not for me. But the steel one. That's a win number one. Win number two is the new Rolex Datejust 36 millimeter dials. Uh, specifically, the one that has the patterns is kind of reminiscent of the, the linen dial, which if you see it in the flesh, it is so beautiful. Um, and, and this one here with the little, I don't even know what to call them, almost like uh, scales. Uh, just kind of like a very nice mid-century modern look, uh, really clean. Uh, it comes in blue, which is really beautiful. Uh, I think that's that's a win number two for me. And um, what's interesting about the 36 millimeter Datejust is they didn't do any updates on the larger sizes. So, you know, I was just thinking, who who are these watches really for? Because guys aren't really buying these watches anymore. They want big watches. Uh, so I've got to say, it's probably for the women and the Asian market. Uh, and someone like myself, who, who really likes the 36 millimeter, I think 36 mil wears a lot better than a 40. Uh, this is a 40 millimeter Submariner. You can see, you know, there's a little overhang. It's a little, it's a little chunky. Uh, I think a 36, you can see my hand proportionate to the watch. It, my hand looks a little small compared to the watch. So I think the, the 36 mil Datejust uh, is a really good look um, for the smaller guy for all the females out there and the Asian market. So I think it's gonna be big on that. And then if you do want a bigger watch, then well, you still have the 41s, you still have the 42 millimeter Explorer, which I did not like in this new release. Uh, you've still got the Daytonas, you probably can't get, but the uh, the, meteorite, the meteorite dials, those are really cool. Um, I really like that. Every watch is kind of unique. That's the catch, that's the catch I think for that, you know, um, the meteorite dials. Um, so I really like that one. The Sky Dweller on Jubilee looks way off. The Jubilee bracelet, I think, is should be reserved for smaller watches with thinner cases. Like a Submariner on a Jubilee would not work because it's too top heavy. And the Sky, De Sky Dweller is so thick. It's so big. The Jubilee looks a t so, so thin, tapered. Um, and so it doesn't really work on a big watch. The Batman is back. Uh, hopefully it'll relieve some pressure from the bat girl. Um, but uh, I mean, that's kind of really just nonsense. You're not gonna be able to get that watch anyways, but yeah, now you can get the uh, the Batman and the bat girl, meaning just the oyster bracelet on the GMT uh, and a Jubilee bracelet. I, I like the Jubilee on this watch, um, but the oyster is, is nice too. That's gonna be a hard one to decide. Um, if you have the opportunity to pick. You know, what else is really interesting is these date chests, the 36 millimeter date chests, um, on a Jubilee, Jubilee bracelet with a um, fluted bezel is actually more expensive than a Rolex Submariner, which is kind of crazy. Uh, so that's one thing I noticed. Um, and uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on the new releases, the kind of watches I like uh, that came out of that um, release. I think it's much better than last year's release. Now, I, I kind of need your help, so give me your advice and what you think the next watch for me would be that would complement a 40 millimeter Rolex Submariner. I'm thinking either a 36 millimeter Explorer on steel versus a Rolex Datejust, which was always kind of my favorite watch. 
uh, a Jubilee bracelet, fluted bezel, and either that that uh, scaly blue one or a silver one. Um, yeah, I I'm I'm leaning towards the Datejust only because um, it's much more different than the Submariner. The Explorer um, does look kind of similar. I mean, the dials are the same. Um, they're both professional watches. I think it'd be fun to have um, two really different watches to complement each other. One on a Jubilee bracelet and uh, and a sports model on an Oyster. So those are my thoughts. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, Datejust or Explorer? Take care.